So one of the questions we get asked a lot from people who haven't seen Inside of California is, does it have a toilet? In this video, we'll show you. Right, so has the California got a toilet? Let's have a quick look inside. It's looking distinctly lacking, Will. It's very lacking. So is it in the cupboard? No, that's no. just full of stuff. Is it in the other cupboard? No, no. more stuff. It's not going to fit under there and it's oh, certainly no. not in the boot. And there's no commode. So, and there's no <laughs> commode. So, um, we're going to go to Camper Van Bits and have a look and see what options there are to have a toilet in your California. However, if you do want a T6 or 6.1 van like this, but you want it with a fitted toilet, check out the Westphalia Club Joker uh, City version because it's got a pop top. The pop top's actually reversed. It comes up at the back and the toilet, it's a fixed toilet in the back. Have a look Ooh. at that if you want something like that. Ford Nugget's got a toilet as well if you have the Plus Edition, the longer one and some of the conversions out there have got them too so definitely worth checking out some of the other options if you definitely want a fixed toilet in your camper van but let's go to camper van bits so today you join us at camper van bits and um, they're up near bolsover on the industrial estate and they stock pretty much everything that you could ever want for your camper van actually easy to come down to just to grab a few bits and pieces to show you the different toilet things so nice and straightforward so mm. um Porta Potty 335, it's a Thetford 335. Uh, this is the same one that we use in our van. This one here, not been used brand yet. Brand new. Brand new, um, and doesn't have anything in, hence it's quite, actually quite light, <laughs> because these weigh a surprising amount, actually, once you uh, start to fill them up with chemicals and things. But I'll just, just walk you through what this Porta Potty is and does. It's quite straightforward, so obviously you've got a lid on the top. When you buy it, you get all the different bits and pieces in here, there's some mounting brackets, things you don't use those in a Cali. Um, there's a cap there which is for the, the tank which is in the top half. So the top half is where you put all of your uh, flush chemicals which is that one. Um, so you use uh, this kind of pinky uh, concentrate, you put it in, you dilute it down and then once you've used the toilet you use that and it's a nothing electric or powered on this, it's just a straightforward plunger and then that shoots flush around in the toilet. Uh, and then that's obviously the cap which goes on there for that. So inside, you might have to help me here, just hold, hold that open. So in, inside here, obviously <laughs> it's a toilet um, and then there's a lever at the front that you pull open and that effectively opens up um, the toilet into the main waste tank at the bottom here, which is this bit. So obviously use it, flush, etc. Close, Close that, that shut and then that's got a nice rubber seal. There's also a toilet seat here too, so pop that back down. Um, so there's a level gauge on the front here and that level gauge is specifically for showing you how full the waste tank is. Uh, and you, if you're moving it around, you soon get to know because it weighs a fair amount too. <laughs> it um, just changes to red over and, uh, time, yeah. so it flicks from green, being green and then it just goes slowly, slowly goes up to being but red. But make sure you've got it on a piece of level ground that yeah. when you're trying to check it, cause if you don't, it won't read right. <laughs> you don't want to try going to the toilet <laughs> not on level ground. <laughs> um, and then um, to effectively take the top bit off from the waste, because obviously you've got to empty it, this lever here you pull and then this top part comes off um, so again that will be sealed it's got your flush and everything in it so that's the the top part and then this bottom part here looks like that so effectively you've got a carrying handle on the back here which you can hold on to um, when you so that's the handle i pulled out earlier on which goes into the waist um, you see how that works there's a rubber seal in there uh, which is where that top part uh, clips onto. Um, this part here is actually designed for a couple of their small bottles of chemical. So the chemical which you put in the waste tank and the chemical you put in the flush, you can buy a couple of small bottles which fit in there just for spares, which is quite handy. And then this uh, hose here. Would you... normally have a big... <laughs> <laughs> As a cap, on it, a cap on screws on. You don't want to miss that bit yeah. out. Definitely <laughs> worth putting that on um, when you set it up. Um, and then what you do with this is you effectively fill 
Um, we tend to fill it through here. Um, you fill it with, I think, two litres of water, and then you have to put some uh, waste chemical in, uh, which is, they do green and blue. We tend to use the green one. I don't really know I think know it's why. meant to be a bit more environmentally friendly uh, it, and better for septic it, it, tanks. So depending on what kind of campsite yeah. you're staying on, they might insist that you use the more... Uh, the green ones rather than the blue. Yeah. I think the green smells a bit nicer personally as well. Although we don't actually use the liquids, we use these, yeah. which are little tiny bags of crystals and you get, uh, is it 10 in one of these? 15 in one of those yeah. um, there, which we just find that's a bit easier in the van because what we tend to do is we leave two litres of water actually in the waste tank, but with no chemical. And then if we're gonna use the toilet or we want to use the toilet, we'll chuck one of those in and then it's ready to go um, so it just saves leaving made up waste chemical in the toilet we find it just tends to be a bit easier yeah. um, so in terms of emptying it uh, obviously what you don't do is open that because it'll be flying out um, you, you do have to think logically about it but effectively you've got the waste here you take the top you take the top off and there is a little button here which when you press this button i think you can see that when you press that button, it's just like a vacuum button. So when you start to pour, if you press that in, it just breaks the seal of the tank. So it just flows out a bit easier, that's yeah. all. So you don't get any kind of... Splash back. <laughs> <laughs> particularly nasty. Yeah. Um, so obviously people have got different opinions as to how you dispose of the waste from these toilets. Because we use the green one, which is the eco one, um, we tend to uh, put this down our toilet at home, don't we? If, yeah, if we've, if, if we've if got we've home from a home. trip, we've used it after we've left a campsite for being able to empty it there, um, then that seems to be working okay. I think the other, the th other thing to mention is um, that we've got out there is the toilet roll for it. And we have heard various people say, you don't need to use the specific toilet roll. Um, I'm kind of of the opinion that I'd much rather not have a blocked porta potty, even if it means that I end up spending four pounds on four toilet rolls, which it's a lot of money, but also I, you don't want to get to the point you're trying to empty that and it won't empty for any reason because it's blocked up with your we best bought, Andrex. We, <laughs> we bought one pack of this like this, didn't we? Yeah. And we still have some left and that's back in 2018 we yeah, bought that. Uh, it's uh, just, we just we, don't use it that we often, We use do the we? toilet for... Oh, well, we definitely don't use it no, for that. Number ones only generally i don't yes. think we've ever had to use no. it for anything else and so no. it's you came close came close <laughs> not going to go into detail on that um <laughs> on this video <laughs> no not, not on any video um so yeah it, it just seems like if you're going to do it get the right stuff and make sure you're not going to have any yeah, particular might, problems with well. it so this particular porta potty the reason why we we went for it is because it's nice and easy and clean and yeah, the, it, the, the kind of size of it as well. It's, it's they a really are good quite brand. hygienic. Yeah. They're, they're, they're as hygienic as you're going to get. Yeah. Um, and Thetford, you know, they've been making, <clears throat> well, branded porta potties for years and years, haven't they? But there's, if you ever go to a show or you look at uh, what's in some of the bigger vans, even the built in toilets and things, they, they tend, tend to be to Thetfords. Be. Yeah. Um, so it's actually quite nice having something which is a, you know, a well known make and, yeah, just, yeah. It, we've never had to. Do anything with ours apart from clean it no we, really? no it's, it, it's worked it's really really perfect. well so you can see it's quite a nice kind of cube size it's about a cubic foot yeah. actually isn't it so 30 centimeters roughly. cubed roughly yeah um but brandrup have obviously kind of thought that this is tends to be the toilet that california owners buy yep. or use so there's also a lovely brandrup own um, tray which it slots into there. Moulded um, specifically it's molded for it. It's so. moulded specifically for this, so it doesn't go anywhere. I think that it does actually come with a strap if you buy it as a full kit yeah, of the tray, yeah. the toilet. But you can things. just buy the tray on its own. Yeah. So. Now this tray fits in the bottom right-hand side of the kitchen unit, uh, if you want to keep your toilet there. Personally, we don't. I much prefer having the kitchen unit available for kitchen things. Um, ours just lives in the boot of the van. Um, it just fits, doesn't it? it? Underneath just fits where you underneath the bed. Put the, uh, the back um, of the van down. Yeah. And because we don't actually necessarily use it that frequently, I don't feel the need to have it kind of <laughs> right to hand in the kitchen. Some people are also a little bit um, uneasy about having a toilet 
in the kitchen and I can mm. kind of see yeah, where they're I, coming from with I get that, that to be honest <laughs> um, so if we think that we might end up needing to use the toilet and we're on a campsite we just go and get it out of the boot put it yeah. in the living area and, and that's it, it done with it, it. it's easy um, there's also I think it's Dunelm and Wilco do these kind of fold flats fold up boxes um, we've got one at home they're like little sort of square ottoman kind of things fabric yeah. boxes with I'll, a bit of a quilt I'll overlay top. some video now you'll be able to see that and it does actually you turn it upside down and it goes straight on the top of one of these you put the lid on it so yeah, you can use it like a footstool like, it's like a footrest or a footstool you can sit on it as well they're strong enough to yeah, sit on but you're covering your toilet up at the same and time which obviously is that's strong enough to sit on clearly well you'd hope so really <laughs> wouldn't you <laughs> um, the other thing we've spotted that uh, now we've come down here today is they actually do a bag for it now do you they want to do that yeah yep. so Thetford do their own bag for the porta potty now we haven't actually tried putting this in here yet so uh, it says on the box this is the right size for it, you pop it, it does, up here. i think it does three different three different ones so it might ones. be a little bit big but um yeah it's a, it's a little bit on the big side for that particular toilet but if you didn't want to open up the uh, boot of your van to and, see toilet. And, and show everyone that you've got a toilet in there. Mind, mind you, you, it's kind of... It does say Thetford Porter Potty on it. There's no so. getting away from it, but is there? I'll tell you what, there you go. Look. There we go, no toilet. Yeah. Just so something no, in a black bag. Just a, just a mystery black bag. <laughs> yeah, it's even got it written yeah. on the other side there yeah. as well, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, you'd need to put it in that way if you just wanted to be... But actually, it's not, it's not bad. And that, that bag actually felt like it was lined inside as well for any drips of water or anything else, so... That, but that looks okay. we've not had, ever had any drips of water, no leakages, spills, no whatever, leaks. Yeah, that is nothing. a big worry from people, isn't it? That that we uh, get asked questions about. Yeah. Do porta potties leak? And the only smell that I've ever smelt from it is the slight chemically smell. Yeah. Um, yeah. That just sort of just I suppose kind of permeates a little bit from it. But it's only when you've I used think, it. Uh, you're more so it's literally to that it than you've, me. I can't, you've I can't opened smell. it. There's a slight smell then, you've closed it, yeah. the smell's gone, and you obviously use some air freshener if you're that fussed. But yeah, I don't think you're particularly um, yeah. fussed about it, are you? So that, that's... So, so one thing to bear in mind though, and, and you know, this this seems to suit the Cali really well, hence why Brandrup do the tray for it and all of that sort of stuff. Um, these porta potties are about 80 to 90 pounds to buy just for the porta potty itself. Then you've obviously got all the other chemicals and other bits of piece in the bag, I think 18 or 19 Something pounds like if you that, want that. Yeah. And the, the tray, I can't remember how much the tray is, but knowing Brandrup, it's probably quite a bit. Um, but, <laughs> it's not going to be a fiver, but, is it? <laughs> you know, you, you're buying basically the, the gold standard of porta potty because it is a genuine porta potty. There are others though, so just want to shift that one out the way. So something like this, um, this camper one, um, physically very similar. Obviously, it's a camper um, make rather than the Thetford one. But these are 58, 57, so 50, 99, 57 99 this particular so one. So you could save a few quid by not having a Thetford and having something alternative. I think the, prob the problem is so many people have got the Thetford because they know it fits in the right place. You've always got that option later if you want to put it in the kitchen unit. They just seem to be that, that Thetford so 335 kind of the go is the go-to one. Mm. If you start getting something else, it might just be a little bit too big in one direction or another. Well, it doesn't so. look like it is, does yeah. it? It looks about the same kind of size. But it's your choice, ultimately. Now, that's obviously covered what the normal go-to option is for a porta potty There are other toileting alternatives, aren't there? Yeah. Well, we started off with just buying a, a kind of bottle. I suppose, wasn't it? It was like a medical bottle yeah. thing with a screw now, cap. The problem there was the capacity of it, you see, because Will would More get up in the men. morning before me, go to the toilet, then ask me if I wanted a cup of tea. Like, the problem is I tended to be using it after we'd been having a pub stopover where I drank quite a lot of pints the night before, which meant that it, it filled up quite quickly. Yeah, and then I'm left stuck there going, well, I'd really love a cup of tea, but at the moment I'm just trying to concentrate on yes. not having any problems. Holding it in, yeah. yeah. So they're <laughs> emergency use. I know people do carry them in the van and you know, that's, that's yeah. good. I mean, <laughs> better to have something than nothing. Yeah, there's various other things like um, bog in a bag. Bog in a bag. So basically, you know, the little tripod seats that you can buy. I'm just seeing if there's one here somewhere. Mm, uh, no, but you know, little that, tripod yeah. seats with a canvas in the middle. It's one of those, but with a hole in, um, which sounds as interesting as it is. Um, obviously we'll overlay some footage, you can see what one looks like. And you basically get a composting bag, which you lay over the seat or underneath the seat. Yeah. And then you... Use it. Use it. Yeah. Yeah. And try not to remember to use it like a normal stool afterwards. <laughs> 
<laughs> Although some things that people do because it's got do. an extra bit of canvas. Aren't you weird to use our porta potty so, as a stool? <laughs> and probably the most horrific option uh, of all of these is one that you came across the other day, isn't it? Yeah. I can't remember where I came across it, but it was essentially a toilet seat with a tow hitch. So we use your tow bar to put a toilet seat on it and then maybe just kind of like a bucket underneath. So, <laughs> so let us know in the comments if below. If you're a bit of a voyeur. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Or solo camping, yeah, very solo. camping on your own, no one around. Maybe that's the option for you. But let us know in the comments Dig below how you like to go to the toilet when you're camping. You like to go. Most well, people would say in a proper heated toilet block with that's, proper that's it, toilets. It is pretty cold in here. Yeah. Um, yeah. So in all seriousness, let us know in the comments below um, if you've got any of these options, if you think one's better than the other, if you've tried a load of different ones yeah. and you've found the perfect solution, then let us know. Um, the comments, although we love to see the comments and we love to see that you're out there, actually loads of people learn from your comments mm. when you post them. So it's really good if you put those on there. Yeah. Uh, we all learn together then, don't we? Mm. Uh, and if there's something that you've got which you think we should look at, then again, put that in the comments below and you never know, it might be featured on the channel next. <laughs> so uh, if you like this kind of content, you know what to do. Please like and subscribe. Uh, it spurs us on. It allows us to come to places like Campervan Bits because they look at our channel and they go, actually, yeah, uh, they're, they're we'll, not. We'll let yeah, them in. We'll let them in and let them do some filming, <laughs> uh, which is really kind of them. So thank you, Campervan Bits, for allowing us to do that today. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you again soon for some more California, California time. time.